Do Robert ci aiuta a meditare sul mistero eucaristico. Shhh, ti amo, ti amo. To understand better the mystery of the Eucharist, we need to learn to open the eyes of faith. I will read to you from the book of Genesis. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden to the east. And there he placed the man he shaped. The Lord God took the man and placed him in the Garden of Eden so that he would cultivate it and take care of it. The Lord God gave this command to the man. You will be able to eat the fruits of all the trees in the garden, but you shall not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, because if you would eat of it, certainly you will die. And then, after the temptation and the fall of man, there is written, the Lord God expelled him from the Garden of Eden so that he would work the land from which she was created. He drove man away, and on the west of the Garden of Eden he placed a cherubim and the flame of the dazzling sword so as to guard the way to the Tree of Life. Now the reflection. For a very long time man has not been able to enter the Garden of Eden. After the death and resurrection of Jesus, the Garden of Eden has been reopened to man. I've looked for this beautiful garden that God has planted and not man. I've entered into this garden. I admired the beauty of this garden. I rested in this garden. I filled myself of the trees of the Garden of Eden. How many times? Where is this garden and how do I get in? We can enter into the Garden of Eden with our baptism because we were sinners. And Jesus took away all of our sins. With baptism we have been soaked. And now we can enter into this Garden of Eden. Always, when we go and celebrate the Holy Mass and we approach Holy Communion, we are in the center of this Garden of Eden. Even now, we have knelt in front of Jesus, present in the sacrament. We have all been at the center of this Garden of Eden. This is what we call the opening of the eyes of faith. We see the Eucharist, and when we open the eyes of faith, we see Jesus which is our food, which contains eternal life. And so now, let's all open the eyes of faith and admire this beauty that God has gifted us.